I have really good news. So, Jake Uger announced yesterday, I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday, that they're starting a group working with Bernie Sanders, or people who work with the Bernie Sanders campaign, to primary corporate Democrats. Essentially, a progressive party. Now, I've been on this channel saying for a long time that progressives, for the most part, see themselves as being distinct from Democrats. They literally created an organization to go after these guys. I love it. I signed up immediately. So they're looking for people to essentially run. They just want regular people. They'll help fundraise. They'll help you get, you know, going and getting up and running. Um, I think they're trying to select certain people, like some kind of nominating process. But... People can put up people in their community, they can put themselves up, they can put their mama up. It doesn't matter. If you think somebody has potential for running, put those people up. I love this. And their platform is amazing. This is what the Democratic platform should have been in the first place. So I, I'll read it. Pass a constitutional amendment to put an end to watch the corruption and bring about election reform. We regulate Wall Street and hold white collar criminals accountable. End billionaire and corporate tax dodging. Fix the system to benefit middle class and poor people. Democrats don't, have you noticed, they don't really say, use the word poor. It doesn't come up. I mean, even when Obama's giving speeches, I don't remember him using that word. Now, it's possible he did, I just don't remember. Defend free speech and expression, oppose bigotry, make the minimum wage a living wage and tied to inflation, ensure universal health care as a right, ensure universal education as a right, end necessary, unnecessary wars and nation building, end failed war on drugs, create the New Deal, create renewable energy revolution, block the TPP and all outsourcing deals that will further damage the middle class, end constitutional overreach. Wow. This is like... <laughs> this is like you put democratic socialists in a room and it said look just write to your heart's content what is the world that you want put that shit on paper that's what we got I love it I love it I love it <laughs> this is great yes that's what a platform should look like that's what these guys should be out there saying. And, the re and look, the public is with you on it. Like, this is not a situation where these guys are on the fringe. These guys aren't the fringe. You know, do you remember in the primaries? They kept saying, oh, Bernie Sanders is only getting white people. And I, I was thinking, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. White people make up like 60% of the country. <laughs> you want white people on your side. Why was that a bad thing? They were like, oh, Hillary Clinton is strong with African Americans. But she was winning in places like the South, where she wasn't going to win in the general election. The public is on your side. And I think you're going to find a groundswell of independence. I think you're going to find that you're going to get a groundswell of cash. I think this is amazing. And I think if you're trying to save the world... Oh, okay. That's grandiose. That's grandiose. But at the very least, if you're trying to save the country, and you're trying to forcibly create a new party, I mean, which is effectively what's taking place is essentially trying to pull the Democratic Party back to its roots. And they're starting on a grassroots level, meaning we want regular people to be in these positions because we think regular people is sick of all of the shit that's going on in Washington and in government. And maybe those people will bring common sense and decency to that position. That's the hope. I, you know, they asked um, multiple populations about whether it was okay to bomb civilians in case of some kind of military objective. Now, 
every other country around the world for the most part said, no, that's sick. Bombing civilians just to accomplish your military objectives. The United States did not feel that way. Citizens of the United States, more than 50% thought, yeah, that's okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, you gotta accomplish your objective, right? We've never experienced a traumatic bombing like that. Like, yeah, we've had Pearl Harbor and we've had certain bombing incidents, but we've never had a situation where, like, being in Germany or Britain when the bombs are falling, or being in some of these countries where a bomb is using drones to murder civilians. There's a memory there. And those countries fully understand what it means to injure and to harm because they themselves have been harmed. They're more sensitive to it. This is a long way to say that maybe the people who they put into those positions, just being regular people, being that those people were harmed by the shit that those guys were doing, maybe those people will be hardened against turning, against being a shill. Against uh, turning the back on essentially the thing that put them there. I think those people will be more in line with progressive values. I also think those people will be more in line to actually represent those values. I do. So, I love this. I would say check it out. It's justicedemocrats.com. Good job, guys. I love it.